Hello and welcome back to the third and probably the final video tutorial of this zero communication tutorial series. In this video, we'll start working on the software behind the uh, uh, features that we added from last time. So let's get started. The first thing uh, I want to do is actually I want to make this bigger so that our message can uh, be displayed correctly. So after that, you want to go back to the uh, form1.h and just you know check everything is there. So all right, so uh, it's good. All right, so let's work on the init port button first. So double click on that, and it should generate a uh, function. Uh, this is the event handler for a clicked button from uh, for C++. And then I'm just gonna cheat and copy and paste the code from my example here. So here I already have the code written. I'm just going to change a few things and I'm going to walk you through it so don't worry. No worries. So copy and paste that. Remember you can get the uh, source code from uh, SourceForge uh, site. And that's from the first video of the series. So go back if you haven't done so. And yeah, you can download the example code from SourceForge. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to change the uh, numbering here because uh, my other uh, code is kind of out of whack. So you want to reset when you when you, when the user click on the init uh, init button, you want to reset the uh, the text here. Okay, so make it empty. Okay, and the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna grab, uh, check to see if if the user have, have uh, entered the appropriate, uh, you know, the com port. Select the appropriate com ports and bar right. And it's gonna warn the user uh, if uh, the user hasn't done so. Okay, it's check whether it's empty or not. And then the next thing it's trying to do is trying to open the port. Or if it's not open, then it's going to do certain things, and then we need to change this into serial port one. So change this to serial port one because we we have uh, we haven't changed the name. The default is serial port one, and you want to change this part into text box number two. This is where it's going to talk to the user. Okay, serial port one progress bar to 100 is when it's opened. 2 here. So all the debug messages going to be displayed on the text box number 2. The first one, the first text box is just for uh, uh, incoming messages from the uh, COM ports uh, serial line. So I think this should work. So yeah, again, I get the code from the SourceForge website and modify uh, to where the numbering shouldn't be a problem anymore. So 0 0.1, that's the name. So let's check to see it works. All right. So here's why I'm uh here's why I meant by uh checking the user whether they have selected the uh, com port and the bar are not. See when it hit init port, it's going to do it because it's going to ask uh, the user to please select the port settings. Okay, and then this one is going to going to select the port setting, and then it's they're not. You have to do two of them. There we go. See now it's gonna, it's, it clears the uh, incoming box, and then it's, we're going to. This is where the user entered the message. All right. One thing you notice: this is still. You still can edit this part. So. You. Read only true. Uh. 
Ah, uh, that's fine. Oh, enable. Disable this thing. Yeah, just disable it. And then the user cannot... Cannot mess around with it. So right there, so the com port. Alright, great. And so it works. So that's a read only thing. So this disable the uh the first text box so the user can mess with it. Next thing we need to do is we need to work on the close port. So don't click on that. Let's generate a code. Here, let's uh have a comment on this one. This one is uh, close. Close button. This one is the init button. So go back to the example code. Copy it. All right, now copy and paste. Shouldn't be too hard. Paste that. So when the user clicks on the close port, we're going to close the serial port. Uh, serial port one. Close it. A progress bar. I'm making zero. Uh, enable the re button again and enable the init button. Okay, so let's see, it's going to enable the re button. The re button is button number four. This, uh, it's not really necessary, but we will do it anyways. And uh, I swear the C plus is more buggy or slower than the C sharp uh, user IDE. So that's the first button. So we need to enable the init button when it's closed. And yeah, this is the extra part, the uh, LED looking thing from the, uh, this one. Oh, we're not doing that, we're not doing that. Uh, just uh, aesthetic thing. So everything is good. And let's see what happens when we debug this. Okay, so Click on the COM port here, init, close, co. Okay, uh, uh, good. So it works. Okay, let's work on the send button. Click on the send, double click on it. And then, ta let's comment on this one, send button. Again, we're just going to copy the code here for the send part. Change this to zero port one. Text box two. This is where it grabs the uh, the user. Uh, input from text box number two, and we're going to write this to the serial port. So this should be intuitive. Write message. Port not open. Okay. Cool. 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 Alright, let's debug this. See if it works.
DOM port here. Send. Alright, so it works. Uh, well, we cannot verify it yet. We need to hook up with PuTTY or something, but that should work. And then the next thing we need to do is work on the rebun. Double click on that. Comment is a rebun. So go back here, read. Paste. Alright, I need to modify and uh, change this to 0 0.1. Make this to 1. One zero point one one. The init button is the uh, button one, so it's getting back to one. So Whenever you click the rebun, you want to uh, disable a certain thing. So you want to generate, uh, you know, it limits the the chances of the user do something stupid, like hit init again. That's when we need to disable the init button when uh, things are happening. You know. Okay. Here. Cool. Double check. Rebun. Alright. And to, to set the timeout, you can go over here and click on this. It should have a default timeout. See, uh, read timeout is infinity right now. You want to do a 500 millisecond. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's make this a 5 minute too. See, the default uh, settings are here. You can change that. There are in doing uh, at runtime from the drop down list. So, we'll debug this. Here. Uh, it should work. Okay. Uh, COM port here, init. Close port, knit, send, read, timeout because there's this only uh, one program running right now. Yeah, but I think this is it. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> that's all you have to do for uh, create a simple GUI for uh, accessing the uh, zero, zero port on your PC. So, I mean, this is very useful if you uh, have uh, an Im embedded design and you want to integrate with a user uh, interface using Windows. So, yep, uh, we have done it. Uh, one last thing is you can change the uh, background color. But, I mean, uh, see, back color, control. Yeah, let's change the color, make it all nice. Custom. Yeah. Okay, this one I had a gray, so. There we go. Change this one to something like. Yeah. Okay. Alright, good luck with your uh, programming project. Thanks for watching. Please com comment, subscribe, like.